cacophony of noise. A sensational atmosphere and a superstar of the sport. Once upon a time, he was a street urchin who sold donuts and scraps for pittance. But through a natural gift for sport and a fierce dedication to match, Manny Pacquiao has risen to become a modern day icon for the Philippines and the Filipino people worldwide. It's been a magical journey through the weight divisions and Jim, he's quite simply in the form of his life. Yep, and he's shocked us so often in the recent past. His last two performances he has been sensational. But I reckon tonight we find out just how good he is because this really is a tough match for him against a fully blown welterweight and an outstanding world champion. This is going to be a cracking fight tonight. A silent prayer in the corner, as always, for the religious Manny Pacquiao. Psychologically, he wasn't all that impressive last time out, but that may just have acted as a wake up call for him. And he realizes he'll have put in the work for this one. He knows what this fight means. This could turn him into a legend. But uh, is he damaged goods? We're about to find out. A prayer for Cotto, too. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, from the MGM Grand of Las Vegas, Nevada, Mr. Bob Arams, top-ranked boxing, along with MP Promotions and Koto Promotions, is proud to present Firepower, the main event of the evening, 12 rounds of boxing for the WBO Welterweight Championship of the World. Sponsored by Tegate Cerveza con Carácter, AT&T Go Phone, unlimited voice and text for $60 per month. Smart Communications, the Philippines' leading wireless service provider, and travel the world with Aero Mexico. And Pawn Stars, the hit show on the History Channel. In the ring at this time, cast the Pawn Stars, the Appraiser, the Spotter, Big Hoss, and Chum Lee. 
This contest sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission Chairman Pat Lundvall, Executive Director Keith Kaiser, WBO President Francisco Paco Barcarcel. At ringside, the three judges scoring the contest, Adelaide Bird, Dwayne Ford, and Dave Moretti. And inside the ring, your referee in charge of the action at the bell, Kenny Bayless. And now, for the thousands in attendance here at the MGM Grand, and the millions watching around the world on HBO pay-per-view. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get Fighting out of the red corner, standing with head trainer Freddie Roach, wearing white with red, official weight, 144 pounds, professional record, 54 fights, 49 victories, including 37 knockouts, with three defeats and two even. He is a sixth division world champion tonight. He's going for a record seventh division title. From Sarangani province, Philippines, six-time world champion, the challenger, Manny Heckman Pacquiao. Fighting out of the new corner with head trainer Joe Santiago wearing white with red of his weight. 145 pounds. Professional record, 35 fights with 34 victories, including 27 knockouts and only one defeat. He is the former undefeated junior welterweight world champion and current two-time reigning, defending WBO welterweight champion of the world, De Carlos Puerto Rico. Every seat sold out, and I bet there's thousands outside this arena wishing they'd been here. Okay, Chuck's okay here. Chuck's okay here. Gentlemen, Miguel Manny, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I want to encourage you again to keep the fight clean at all times. Protect yourself at all times, and what I say, you must obey. Good luck. Touch him up. A tingling sense of anticipation in the air. How will this excellent clash unfold the speedy moves quick feet and high octane style of Manny Pacquiao or the power physical size and smoothness of Miguel Cotto the Puerto Ricans WBO welterweight belt on the line but the match made at 10 stone 5 was it a hard grind for Cotto will Pacquiao be big enough Jim firepower is upon us and we hope for a real treat. Well, Cotto has been accused of being a little bit mechanical at times. He's been caught early in several of his fights and shaken. But I'm sure they'll have warmed him up in the gymnasium. They know how quickly Pacquiao starts. And he's right down to, to business trying to impose himself with a left jab. All important, the left jab of Miguel Cotto. Such a powerful tool. Also the left hook to the body. Pacquiao looking to make a fast start. That was the plan, but not bad from Cotto very early. That's actually one of the advantages that Cotto has. Uh, the leading hand when the southpaw faces the orthodox is important. And Cotto is left-handed, that's why there's so much power in his jab and in his left hook. So that gives him a slight edge in the long-range boxing. Started well, Cotto. Pacquiao was down in the first round of the first fight against Marco Antonio Barrera. Cotto shaken by Zab Judah, Demarcus Corley and Ricardo Torres early in their fights. Cotto looking very strong and powerful in the early stages here.
A sizeable weight advantage on the night. The natural welterweight against the fighter who's come up from light flyweight and body shots from Cotto. This is as sharply as I've seen Cotto start. He usually takes a, a round or so to, to work things out, to decide what he's going to do. But he's obviously come in here knowing Pacquiao wants to start quickly and take, take the play away from him. His first few sessions so vital for Cotto to try and disrupt the Pacquiao rhythm, dispel the energy and back him up. Well, Cotto is so well tucked up, has such a good left jab, but Pacquiao's struggling a little bit just to find the target. He's tightening things up now. Freddie Roach, the man that Manny Pacquiao calls master, said there was a possibility of a first round stoppage in Pacquiao's favour. No signs yet. Well, I preferred Cotto in the opening round, the more solid shots, the accuracy. But this is going to be every bit as good as we expected. Here we go. Still paying full price for your ticket at the station on the day. People buying in advance at thetrainline.com saved an average of 43%. Save on train tickets at thetrainline.com. There's the young 32-year-old Joe Santiago, new trainer for Cotto. Made a good start, Jim. Yep, he did to head and body. He's so well tucked up, he has the basics mastered. Difficult to penetrate that tight defence, and Pacquiao found that in the opening round. Team Cotto had a terrific camp in Puerto Rico and in Tampa. They started there's 35 days earlier than Manny Pacquiao's. He was out in the Philippines amidst typhoons and trouble. Preparation not perfect. It's the round. Where Manny Pacquiao crushed Ricky Hatton with that sensational left hand. But Cotto has started sharply. Well, Pacquiao had a lot of problems with Marquez, who is an excellent counter puncher, and Cotto is the same. And I think that's one of the problems. When, Ma when Pacquiao leads, misses, whether it's blocked or whether it misses, Cotto's ready to come back with those counters. Short right did get through from Pacquiao. Decent defence. That's what Roach has worked on over the years. Pacquiao wants a left-hand happy fighter. Much better all round. Beginning to exchange. Good left hand from Pacquiao, another one. Drilling them through. Cotto's head movement maybe a slight weakness in the arsenal Pacquiao trying the, the left cross from that southpaw stance is working for him there it goes again beautiful uppercut from Manny Pacquiao the crowd react and Cotto just hurt momentarily caught in a Pacquiao whirlwind Cotto needs a cool head I think he reacted to the couple of punches he was forced to take there but he was boxing so well up to that point must keep a cool a good left hook from Cotto Hasn't this started terrifically? Body shot from Cotto. Slightly low. Plenty of respect between the pair. Both top-ranked fighters. Bob Arum, the president, said it will hurt him to watch this. Good left hand again. It's the straight left from the south post answers working for Pacquiao. Good defence too from Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao found a bit more rhythm in the second round here, working well. Deafening noise inside the MGM. Cotto, Cotto turns southpaw. He's committing himself, Cotto, and he's making mistakes and he's being punished for them. 
He needs that cool head back together again. Get his defences up and he's boxing back together. The speed's carried to welterweight for Pacquiao. This is a really good round. And Cotto can't get out of the way of some of these. I think the Reds missed this come down and Miguel Cotto made too many mistakes. The crowd living every single minute. That was Pacquiao's response. Well, I think Cotter reacted there with the hot head to the powerful head shots from Pacquiao. And I think he made some mistakes in that round, became a little bit ragged. He wants to keep himself cool the way he was in the opening rounds. But another tremendous round, but Pacquiao definitely winning that one. Showing also that he has the power to trouble Cotto. Second defence of Miguel Cotto's WBO welterweight title. Also hold the uh, WBA version at one stage. And at 10 stone two, a two-weight champion. Manny Pacquiao, a four-weight world champion. But he succeeded in six weight classes. Up from light flyweight, incredible really, the Henry Armstrong of this era. Here's the third, hasn't disappointed so far. What a tempo, these two classy operators. See, this is Cotto, head cool again, working behind the jab. It's the straight left from the southpaw stands that's given him all the problem. Then a left, right hook from Pacquiao. Well, it's what we thought, it's the strength and power of Cotto against the speed of Pacquiao. And that speed's razor sharp and Cotto touches down at the beginning of the third round. Couldn't get out of the way of those. Six, seven. Breakthrough for Manny Pacquiao. Well, we've seen Cotto shaken several times early in fights and pulled himself together. But he's beginning to make mistakes now and he's been punished every time he does. Coming off that tough fight against Joshua Clotty. Has he really recovered from the loss to Antonio Margarito? Bags of heart, Cotto. Back he comes. Smart boxing from Pacquiao. Beautiful left hook from Cotto. Mesmerising this, it really is, to watch at ringside. Again, that straight left, Pacquiao so accurate with it, Cotto not able to block it. Complains that, problem with his eye, Cotto. And he was cut badly against Joshua Clotty last time out. There's the body shots whipping in and Pacquiao says, come on then. And Pacquiao fighting in little bursts. Tactics are perfect. The waspish movement, the angles, in and out, darting away Pacquiao. Look at that speed. Pacquiao's defences are good too. Oh, lovely work from Cotto. Yes, sweet uppercut. Tries the body shots. And Pacquiao just standing there. Heavy hooks from Cotto. What a good fight so far. I think maybe Pacquiao's surprised at the strength of Cotto. He's hit Cotto with some terrific shots, scored the knockdown, but Cotto responded so well. Okay, he wasn't badly hurt, 
but forced Pacquiao onto the back foot when he got back up again. A tremendous round that was. But I think Pacquiao maybe just now realising how tough the welterweight division can be. Excellent burst of punching there from Cotto. Amazing really though that Manny Pacquiao has carried the power up through the weight. Forcing Oscar de la Hoya to retire forever. And blowing the hopes of Ricky Hatton clean away. Here's the fourth. The red trunks of Manny Pacquiao, the white of Miguel Cotto, fighting for their nations. So many Puerto Ricans and Filipinos around the world glued to this. So I think Pacquiao is struggling to use the southpaw jab, so he's opted for the straight left, which has been working. But a good start to this round from Cotto, looking very strong, powerful. Body shots from Pacquiao. And people felt De La Hoya was very drained at the weight. Ricky Hatton at light welterweight. The biggest and most powerful guy Pacquiao has ever tackled. Well, I always reckoned this would be the toughest fight of Pacquiao's career. And I think it's shaping up like that. Uppercut, well blocked by Cotto. He's worked so hard for this, Cotto. Almost a second part player in the promotion. But he's had belief. Pacquiao's speed, the burst, the explosiveness. Now this is tremendous stuff from Pacquiao. Cotto back with the left hand though. That was a good shot. Winging away to the body, trying to slow down the Filipino. But it's when Cotto loses his cool, when he's tagged with a couple of punches, he blazes back and that's sometimes when he makes some mistakes. Keeping the gloves down, Pacquiao. Good right hand from Cotto. Lovely shot. And he acknowledges that, Pacquiao. He's under pressure on those ropes. Good work from Cotto. Switching to, to southpaw there, Cotto. These two are giving it everything. Oh, Cotto's gone! Beautiful punch by Manny Pacquiao. He's down for the second time. He's badly hurt, Adam. He's badly hurt. 13 seconds left in the fourth. Can he get through to the bell? Pacquiao's a terrific finisher. Left hand. Cotto's eyes are gone. He's got the bell and he needed it. Can he recover from that, Jim? Don't like the look of his eyes. He is badly stunned. Another few seconds, I think the fight would have been over in that round. But Pacquiao again has surprised us. He's the one with the power. Cotto is having such a good round for the first couple of minutes then. And Pacquiao just took everything away from him. See, it's, it's when he loses his cool that he makes the mistakes and runs onto these punches. When he sticks with his boxing, sticks with his technique, he gives Pacquiao all sorts of problems. But as soon as the red mist comes down, this is what happens. And I don't know that a minute is going to be long enough. But that must do something huge for Pacquiao's confidence. Twice he's had him on the floor. What a ferocious four rounds. Can Cotto recover? Down twice. Advantage very much in the Filipino corner. See, Pacquiao is clever. He's picking these spots, he's fighting in little bursts and getting himself out of there, keeping his defences up. Cotto, as, as he's done a bit mechanical, keeps going forward all the while, and he's the one who's been making most of the mistakes.
Right hands from Cotto. The crowd get behind Pacquiao. Still a little success in there for Miguel Cotto when he backs Pacquiao up. See, this is what Cotto needs to do. Keep a cool head, keep his chin down, and use that solid left jab and left hook that he has. It's when he reacts oh, to Pacquiao. Pacquiao. Oh, it's hot again. That's the punch that they've been working on. Freddie Roach and the team, the one straight through the middle. See, I think the knockdowns have taken something out of Cotto now. He's that little bit slower. Pacquiao having no problem finding the target now. And tactically astute under the guidance of the brilliant Freddie Roach. They're like father and son, and they have been for eight years. Again, Pacquiao just picking his moments to burst into life. Not so much use of the jab from Cotto, not as accurate. Blazing fists from Pacquiao. Again, in and out, Jim. Yeah, well, Cotto realises any time he's made mistakes, he's been punished and he's been hurt from them. So he's trying to keep his boxing together, which is certainly a good plan. But Pacquiao is still looking strong and lively. And at the moment, proving... He is the pound-for-pound pound king, Floyd Mayweather would disagree. Uppercut from Cotto. But Pacquiao on the crest of a wave. Cotto back there, just unhinges the Filipino. See, I think when Cotto sticks to his box and keeps his chin down and his hands up and works in behind that jab, then he could win this. But when the red mist comes down, he loses his cool. That's when he's caught with all the big shots. Bit better from Cotto in this round. Pacquiao just ragged there. Yep, Cotto's kept his butt up. Pulled away from that one. Terrific action. Millions of men shave with Gillette, so we've learned a thing or two about shaving. Prepare your skin before, shield during, and refuel after for a great shave. Gillette Series Shave Care, inspired by millions of men for one face, yours. Combat the effects of winter with Gillette Shave Gel and Moisturizer. It's the apocalypse. I thought we'd have more time. It's not just here. It's the whole world. Yeah, better work from Cotto there, kept things cool, kept his chin down, defences up, worked in behind the jab and the left hook. Didn't offer the same chances to Pacquiao in that round, thought that was a good round for Miguel Cotto. Two modern talisman in the sport of boxing. Humble guys and fighting at a tremendous pace here. Miguel Cotto hoping to successfully defend his welterweight title and get the big win of his career. He's been down twice, he's come back well in the fifth. Manny Pacquiao taking the punches at the higher weight. Left hook from Cotto. 36th outing for Cotto. Only ever been beaten on that one occasion by Antonio Margarito. Tight of defence from Pacquiao. That's the straight left that we haven't seen for a couple of rounds from Pacquiao, which worked early. Good left to the body from Pacquiao. I mean, the clever stuff is coming from Pacquiao. Good right hook from him. Cotto a little bit straightforward in his boxing, but it's sound boxing. But all the surprising stuff from Pacquiao. Good work now from him. The accuracy too and the power from Pacquiao. Cotto just drawing the breath in there. Good he's right hand. And he's trapped on the ropes. 
Cotter looking very uncomfortable at the moment, the way he was pulling in the oxygen there, the right hook again from Pacquiao. Just outclassing Cotto in patches. Not enough upper body movement from the big Puerto Rican. I mean, I just wonder that the tough, hard career Cotto has had is the punch resistance what it was, what it should be. Because every time he's caught cleanly, you see the effects. Just starting to walk into shots. Got a good body shot from Pacquiao. Stop, 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 stop. Just doesn't look perturbed at all, does he? What a fighter Pacquiao is. Pacquiao beginning to look stronger than Cotto now. If that happens, then I don't see how Cotto can get himself back into this. This is a bit better from him, but he's looking very flat-footed now. He's had arm punches he's throwing. No great snap in them. The stabs at that left eye that needed 14 stitches after the clotty fight. Forced to quit by Antonio Margarito. And he's elected to go back onto the back foot here, Cotto. Signs that he's not dealing with the pace as well as Pacquiao. Oh, is a left hand from Pacquiao. Huge punch. It's a bad session for Miguel Cotto, who tries to rally. But he's in trouble and Pacquiao smiles. The iPhone has all kinds of apps. There are apps for budgeting your money. There are apps for investing your money. Apps to learn a new chord. And apps to learn a new language. There are apps for nature lovers, sports lovers, and thousands of others. Yep, there are 90,000 apps for just about anything, only on the iPhone. Jim, they were just working on a little nick by the left eye. That was the one that opened against Clotty. Yeah, but I think what's more alarming is signs that Cotto is not dealing with the pace here as well as Pacquiao. He was flat-footed, he was breathing through his mouth. Whereas Pacquiao still looking fresh, still landing powerful punches. Second half of this compelling clash between Miguel Cotto and Manny Pacquiao, we've waited for it for months and it is certainly delivering Cotto down twice, badly hurt can he come back into this? is there any way he can outlast Pacquiao and slow down the Filipino? well he's landed his best punches, bang on the button and Pacquiao, and Pacquiao has taken them and come blazing back and here he comes again with these slashing punches sweet uppercuts High energy from Pacquiao, darting around and starting to plant his feet now too. He's taking the fight away from Cotto at the moment. Cotto flat-footed, stationary target, same snap, not in his own punches that we saw earlier. Tremendous work now from Pacquiao. He was hurt there, Cotto. He's beginning to dismantle. Cotto at his own game, Pacquiao. It's so brave from Cotto. He's worked really hard. But Pacquiao oozing class. Yeah, and Pacquiao looking as though he can still step up a gear. If required, whereas Cotto struggling to stay there. Struggling with the speed, Jim. It's all Pacquiao here. And Pacquiao is the strong fighter now, and that is the, pretty much the only advantage that Cotto had. Pacquiao has taken that away from him. Doesn't look like the distractions of becoming a movie star and a singer. Manny Pacquiao booked in for a concert later tonight, unbelievably. I've never seen a man with the confidence that Pacquiao shows, just walked onto a jab there. But, uh, fewer and fewer of the punches coming back from Cotto. Cotto trying to, to box from a distance, trying to make things just a little bit easier on himself. Can't trade with Pacquiao. And if that's the case, is there a way back? 
a doubter. The serious ring business and now Pacquiao backing Cotto up and stalking him around the ring. No, I just think Pacquiao is knocking the fight out of Cotto at the moment. Cotto struggling to stay with this. The accuracy spot on from Pacquiao tonight. And a left hand at the end, for good measure. The world is full of amazing business opportunities. And we want to help you make the most of them. So British Airways are giving flights for a year to 100 small and medium-sized British businesses. To apply, visit BA.com. Referee Kenny Bayliss just in Cotto's corner, battered and bruised. Yet, he doesn't have much left. Reflexes are gone. Signs that the tank is emptying. He's flat-footed. He's been caught so easily with punches. He's taking the full force of the punches now because his reflexes have dulled. I said this match would tell us if Pacquiao was as good as we thought he is. Well, he certainly is. A gripping spectacle. And Manny Pacquiao firmly in the ascendancy. What's left in the tank of Miguel Cotto? Trained frenetically, looked terrific on the scales at 10 stone 5, but he's had to drag himself down those extra two pounds and maybe he could have done without that as well. See, I think the problem tonight with Cotto, we've called them mechanical, but he's used to controlling the pace of fights. That's what he's very good at. He hasn't been able to do that tonight. He's been forced to fight at Pacquiao's pace, and that's what's taken the energy from him. Also, the knockdown punches and the amount of clean punches he's, he's walked on to. Pacquiao, who stopped David Diaz in nine, Oscar De La Hoya after eight, and Ricky Hatton in two. The knockouts are coming, the power, even up at this weight, of 10 stone 7. That's better from Cotto. It is better, but the signs are that Cotto now wants to outbox Pacquiao. No, not out, overpower him, he wants to outbox Pacquiao. So he knows there's a big change in the plot here. Boxing well, though. Just lunging with the left there, Pacquiao. Cotto still quite light on his feet. But you still get the impression that Pacquiao is the one hunting the other man down. Good defence from Pacquiao. That's really been tightened over the years, hasn't it, Jim, that defence? I mean, Freddie Roach has done a tremendous job. Pacquiao used to be a left-hand happy southpaw. Look at the boxing we're getting from him now. Tremendous! That was a lovely left, complete fighter under the wild card regime and Freddie Roach who predicted De La Hoya would go in eight, Hatton would be done within three and Pacquiao one, nine or ten. Will lovely. his predictions come right again? Lovely left hand from Pacquiao, that straight left hand that hasn't missed, there it is again. See, Cotto's punches now have absolutely no effect on Pacquiao. Just walking through them, getting his own punches off. Must be so frustrating for Cotto. Damping the spirit, and here comes Pacquiao. Blistering speed. Brilliant. Don't know that Cotto could take much more of this, or should take much more of this. Pacquiao just walking through what he has. Oh, jab hurts him there, Cotto. This is where Oscar De La Hoya was pulled out. And it's getting very bad for Cotto. Man. Listen, you know the fight going backwards, okay? Back him up, all right? Cut the ring off. Nice round. You know, let him get out. You, you, you know what? Ah, vamos, Raul, número 9. Ah? 
there may be no way back. Set, I think the tank is empty, I think he's been forced to fight at a pace he's never been comfortable with and he's never been the best 12 round fighter in the game. He slagged a couple of times late on and even fights that he was winning and he's not winning this one and he's being punished. See there, a good left hook from Cotto but Pacquiao takes it, steps right back up again. There's been a scintillating performance once again from Manny Pacquiao. Can he put the icing on the cake? And they teacher Freddie Roach's prediction come true yet again. Miguel Cotto with the heart, but he is starting to get chewed up in there. I mean, Pacquiao just happy to let him have a few punches at the beginning of the round. From the halfway stage, he picks up the pace and just takes charge. Credit not only to Roach, but to conditioner Alex Ariza, who has got Pacquiao in supreme shape yet again. Doesn't matter what weight he fights at, does it, Jim? He's a tremendous athlete, tremendous fighter, and as I say, every bit is good as his recent performances, which some people may have thought flattered them, not in the slightest. Cotto still trying ever so hard, digging deep, hoping for something. 27 knockouts, but the power's going, the face is busted up, and here comes Pacquiao once more. Kenny get... Bayless taking a closer look, Jim. Again, when we get to the last minute of the round, the fact that Pacquiao so much in the tank, he just completely takes over and pounds Cotto again. Allows Cotto a little bit of success in the first minute, then takes over from the halfway stage. Plenty of time left in this, the ninth. Pacquiao's fists of fury. He could be very close here. These are sickening punches now that Cotto has been forced to take. I think it's time if he sees to the best. Kenny Bayless he's over there. having a really, really good look at Cotto. Pacquiao on the very brink here of another amazing victory. It's all over, Adam. Even if he gets to the bell, which is doubtful, the corner must pull him out of there. Nothing left, absolutely nothing. The first time he's tried to clinch Cotto. Brutal and terrific action from the word go, but Pacquiao in total charge. Another phenomenal performance from Manny Pacquiao. Now, this is becoming sickening now. Looks as though he's going to make it to the bell, but hopefully we won't hear another bell. Hopefully this is all over now. Brave beyond belief, Miguel Cotto. No answer to Pacquiao's exquisite boxing. The man has nothing left, his face is a mess, there is no snap whatsoever in these punches, he's been tuned up. They have to get him out of there, but it doesn't look like it to me. Before criticism for quitting before against Margarito, he won't want to go out, but maybe he should. We're not asking him to quit, Adam, we're asking the corner to show a bit of common sense and get him out of there. He's not stressing, you know, flexing his neck muscles to take these shots. He's been rolled around by the punches. This is dangerous. I would love to see him out of there. Kenny Bayliss again went over to the blue corner. This the tenth round. It's been all Pacquiao for so long now. Sweat drenched trunks of the pair of them, but the blood on Cotto. Tries to pump out these hooks. What a spirited fighter though, Jim. He still is, isn't he? Yeah, 
I think as you touched on earlier, the fact that he was forced onto a knee against Margarito, fighters hate doing that, he doesn't want to do it again, but he's shown courage way beyond the call of duty. Someone has to show a bit of compassion, he's just been tuned up now. See, Pacquiao gives him the first minute or so. When the, when the other guy's tired, uh, okay for the first minute he pulls himself together, then Pacquiao just takes over. And then the hurtful punches arrive. Roach and Pacquiao, who studied the strategy for weeks and said they know the weaknesses in Cotto. Couple of decent punches there from Cotto. Amazing the character he's showing us here tonight. There's the next injection of turbo from Pacquiao. Eyes closing as well of Cotto. He's so just getting to the final minute when Pacquiao does the real damage. Cotto boxing well up to now. But forced into survival boxing as opposed to boxing to win a fight. Yep, circling on the back foot now, Cotto. He was meant to try and drive Pacquiao back, but he's the one who's under the cosh. Well, full credit to Cotto, he's done well in this round. Pacquiao stopping, pulling his breath. Is Pacquiao beginning to feel the pace? Wouldn't be surprised. No huge drive from Pacquiao in this round. Both have worked non-stop tirelessly throughout this. Somehow Cotto's still there. He's actually boxed well in this round. OK, back foot. But look, Pacquiao, nothing like as effective in this round. Yeah, well done to Miguel Cotto for that session. Marked up, but what extraordinary pride from the Puerto Rican. Yeah, tremendous courage. I mean, he had a good round there, but I would much rather have seen him out of there. Because what we've seen in the previous two or three rounds uh, was a little bit sickening. Who boy Fernandez, his old childhood friend assisting Freddie Roach. Just wincing there, Pacquiao, is he beginning to feel the pace with the addition of weight? Well, I mean, maybe he just decided a breather was in order. I mean, he certainly has a cushion to fall back on. He's dominated most of the action tonight. The sharp jab and the blood begins to trickle again from Cotto's left eye. Maybe he had a round off Pacquiao, beginning this one with more enthusiasm and drive. Yeah, and started earlier as well. In a lot of the rounds, he's given the first minute or so to Cotto until he slows a little bit, then he goes to work. Started much quicker. Maybe he's had a little bit of a tongue lashing in between rounds then. Bangs his fists together, Pacquiao. We used to see that in the old days when he fought the likes of Barrera and Morales. Just beating everybody, Pacquiao. Not dominating Cotto the way he was doing earlier. Winning this session, this is better, this is more like... Oh! Tremendous punch. Oh, Cotto gets back with a counter. That did hurt Pacquiao. But he 
he's walked through it, no signs in the legs that he's troubled by it and that's been the big problem for Cotto all the way through he's never been able to shake Pacquiao up proving an iron chin even at welterweight Manny Pacquiao and stalking Cotto once more I mean, Freddie Roach gets him into incredible condition. Tremendous. What a pace this has been fought at. Fighting for the Filipino people who had the recent tragedy of the typhoons. Cotter moving away from the punches, taking some of the sting out of them. But Pacquiao beginning to dominate once again. Spitting blood out now, Cotto as well. Driven back, again there looks little left, and Pacquiao fairly fresh at this late stage. Pacquiao's legs are still looking really strong, showing little feints now before he throws the shots. There's huge calf muscles that Pacquiao possesses, so much of the power from the bottom half. The straight left again, that's worked so well all night long. Cotto, a sorry sight. And Pacquiao moving towards even greater glory. For the heart and the guts of the man, does he deserve to see and hear the final bell out? Well, he's not being punished the way he was in the, some of the middle rounds. He's got his boxing together, it's survival boxing we're seeing from him at the moment. But he wants to survive, he wants to get to the end of this. If he was still taking the powerful shots from Pacquiao, I would say get him out of there. But he's managed to, although he's accepted that he's losing this, but he wants to hear that final bell. A thrilling and savage encounter comes down to the last round. Manny Pacquiao with those two knockdowns and the control, and he's not finished yet. He wants the knockout, I think, Jim. Yep, but this is the last round, so he can pour everything in if he wants it. But whether he gets it or not, what a tremendous performance from an exceptional fighter. I'd like to see Cotto see it to the, the final bell. He has the experience to box on the back foot, take the sting out of the punches, as he's been doing in the last couple of rounds. But Pacquiao can be a whirlwind at times, can't he? Cotto stopped late on against Margarito. Will it happen again? And Kenny Bayless says no more! Manny Pacquiao has another sensational night! He is a five-weight world champion! An unbelievable display yet again! What a fighter! Tremendous! I said there before the fight that the Cotto match would let us know if Pacquiao was as good as we think he is or that his last couple of performances flatter him but this is a tremendous fighter without question the pound for pound best in the world today feel sorry for Miguel Cotto I thought if the referee had stopped it around about the ninth round or have agreed with it but in the last round they took one big shot the referee had seen enough I feel a little bit sorry for Cotto getting this far he was so desperate to see it out that he didn't manage to do it Agony for Cotto, ecstasy for the Filipinos around the world who will be celebrating tonight again. Pacquiao, phenomenal. And there's Alex Ariza, the conditioner, and Freddie Roach will be in there. What a team, what a performance. And Jim, apparently, 
He's going over the road to Mandalay Bay to sing in a concert tonight. What a superstar. Yeah, well, these were some of the things I was worried about. I mean, obviously, he must have taken time out to rehearse with his band and so forth. And I wondered, was he neglecting? I couldn't see him neglecting in, in, in such an important fight. I couldn't see Fred de Roach allowing that. But uh, he answered the questions tonight. That was a tremendous performance. Phenomenal boxing from him. And then the, the stop is just putting the icing on the cake. I wonder if Floyd Mayweather watched that somewhere from his home in Vegas, maybe. That's going to be the talk now. Pacquiao Mayweather. But let's enjoy this performance. I mean, Cotter had accepted defeat. He was just trying to go the distance and then one big powerful shot. You know, looking at it, Cotter probably could have got through that. Uh, I really feel if the referee was going to stop this, he could have stepped in a couple of rounds ago. One big punch, and Cotter did what you're supposed to do when you take a punch. You go on the defensive, you duck and dive and get through it. So I do feel sorry for Cotto, but uh, what a performance from this man. Too quick, too classy, and astonishingly too powerful for the Puerto Rican powerhouse. A world champion at five weights, starting at light flyweight for the first professional fight of his career. Amazing. Referee Kenny Bayless steps in to call a halt to this contest. The official time, 55 seconds of round 12, the final round, the winner by TKO victory, and new WBO. Champion of the world, the fighting pride of the Philippines, Manny!